Endure Island is a free-to-play Steam release published and developed by Izanabit. I could not find anything on the company, so I won't give much backstory here. This is their first and currently only game. It initially came out in early access in October 2022. This year, it was officially released in the middle of September. When you scrounge through the reviews, you can see that it is a mixed bag of love and hate. 55% are positive, meaning it's close, yet not exactly a 50-50 split between good and hostile. The ones giving it a thumbs up are very light-hearted and charitable, praising the game despite its shortcomings. Some positive early access assessments list that the game has potential and shouldn't be looked down upon so soon, especially at this stage. Some of them are just fucking around and joking, as you should expect for Steam reviews, but I personally love when they're not all so severely profound. Only two wholesome reviews were released after early access ended, sending more praise and respect. Good to see a free game that actually isn't bad. Sad to see all the negative reviews. I'm not sure what everyone wants expects, but I don't think this is so bad at this price point that it should be brought down. There's combat, there's crafting, there's a gameplay loop. Let's all just calm down and appreciate a dev that seems to be actively working on their game and asking nothing for it. But what about the people who don't view the game as fondly as the slight majority? Like the positives, most negative reviews occurred during early access. Hence, they're no longer indicative of the game I played. However, the unfavorable posts were met with a lot more support and agreement than those who expressed their backing for the game. Was the early release that bad? Absolutely terrible. Graphics are outdated, cannot remap controls. I spent way too long running around with zero zombies in sight. When I did find some, they attached to me like magnets. Good thing it's free. Nobody should ever pay a dime for this crap. But regarding the current version, only one negative inspection was posted on September 19th stating that the game could be more functional. Ever since my Roblox days, I've been fascinated with zombie games. I quit a year ago, only coming back for particular events. For my latest instance, I used it to test this new computer's specs. I ventured through Zombie Tower, Zombie Uprising, and now through Plants vs. Zombies, Dead Island, and Zombie Rush. But will this game, Endure Island, be worth it? Well, watch this video until the very end for my concluding opinions. You start as a deserted soldier in the middle of a field, spawning in front of a crashed helicopter. The game has no narration, so it's nothing but reading when you're in a cutscene. That is fine, by the way. Many good games have minimal voice acting, and this is just a game that's starting out, so I can ignore it for the most part. Following you approaching the helicopter and interacting with it, you're met with a quick and simple tutorial on the game. You're taught how to fight, shoot, craft, research, and cure infections, do quests, and more. It's an open world game, so there is a lot you can do. There are even levels and perks, as expected for a survival RPG. But other than that, what I like about the game so far is that it tries to be different. There are mechanics in it that many zombie games don't have, such as researching cures. Dead Island is the only other game I played with that feature, although someone else is curing it in that game as opposed to yourself. And it doesn't even get cured there anyway. It could be in the DLC. However, I'm not interested. Let me get back on track. The graphics could be way better within this game, but they are manageable. For my playthrough, in particular, I had everything in medium settings. Unfortunately, I did not experience any of the acid trip effects advertised on the store page. I've only played this for 15 minutes. 
but even with one-fourth of an hour in, you can quickly appreciate what type of game this is if you're willing to give it a shot. But don't get me wrong, the flaws of this game are heavily transparent. My personal gripe is how horrible the stamina system works, at least when you're starting off. You can only run for like two fucking seconds, really. More efficient boosts are hidden behind perks, but there needs to be a better baseline. Close combat is also super janky for the scenarios where you run low on ammo since it's not unlimited in this game. It deals too much stamina for too minor damage, and the blows don't even work as intended half the time. The zombie AI could be better, so it's easy to avoid dying against them, disregarding the poor fighting system in close quarters. If you fill up on gun ammo, you should practically be untouchable. The world is also empty at first. You and the goofy ASF zombies roam around in a forest. Maybe it gets more vibrant over time, but unless you are on that LSD screen shit, the game is kind of dull and uninteresting in a visual sense. If you look at the trailers on the game store page, you can see the places outside the forest, and they aren't all that bad, but I've seen better design destinations. If you look at the trailers, the close quarter warfare gets buffed later in the game, but the fundamentals are still wrong. Its optimization could be better too, since the game took almost two minutes to fully load after I officially entered the world. But at least I don't instantly crash, so that's a plus. In conclusion of the con section, getting something out of Endure Island takes a decent amount of time. Still, its early impressions may draw people away from even getting to that point in the first place. Overall, it's a slightly below average game with some potential to capitalize on. Remember that this is not a pay to play game. It is entirely free and free games on Steam have a low chance of being captivating and enjoyable in the long term. It has promise based on my own gameplay and what is shown in the trailer, displaying unique ideas in a vast atmosphere. Before playing, let's wait for future updates since it'll take multiple sessions to progress efficiently so you can't just bang this out in one day. But if you want to go ahead and start now, be my guest. I was not fond of Endure Island all that much, but to each their own. It's not terrible enough for me to flat out say, don't play it, but I'll at least warn you and state that there are better and simpler games out there that are also free or for a low price. This was Spono, the zombie killer. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.